Extra special warning! Our hosts do no research and preparation for these movies. They are just two cynical douchebags. They think just because they have ten years of bad TV under their belts, they are qualified to review these horrible movies. Well, everybody, I know you're like, what the fuck? It's Sunday morning. What the fuck are these two fuckballs doing on my fucking computer? Well, guess what? We're doing an extra special worst movie not on Netflix. We're doing this special episode for none other than fucking Sharknado. Sharknado. A sci-fi original fucking asylum fucking film. Dun, 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 we yeah. haven't watched a fucking asylum film in fucking months. But we had to. It's fucking Sharknado. Because they fucking suck. Suck. Speaking of asylum, this movie was written by somebody we have dealt with in the past in our reviews. Yes. Thunder fucking Kugaga Levin. Kugaga. Director of Mutant vampire zombies from the hood and American warships. Yes. With Mario Van fucking Peebles and Carl fucking Weathers. So this movie starts off with like these fucking shark poachers, right? And there's this Asian dude that's with these shark poachers and they're making some kind of deal over shark it's fins for shark like fin soup. Deal, but it's over shark fin soup. But anyway, a big fucking storm happens. Fucking sharks fuck up this fucking ship. Cut to Santa Monica here where Ian Testicles Zeering, you know, Tess, he played Testicles in movies called The Legend of Awesomeness Maximus that we were yeah, back in the really day. Yeah, really receding hairline. But we do gotta say one thing about Ian Zeering. What about him? You know, he yes, he doesn't have a career. And yes, he does not have a wife anymore. He's, but at least he looks good for Big 49. Yeah, but he's like Richard Maul. Like, he's like from Night Court. Like, after 90210, I'm sorry, dude. Dude, nobody wanted to see you again. Like Richard <laughs> Maul. <laughs> I would have rather seen Richard Maul in this thing. The dude, I fucking Ian Zeering's voice, his facial, everything about him just annoyed the shit. Well, out of just this all of the acting in this movie was super stiff, poor in quality fucking acting, right? Yeah, man. All it was was like, oh no, <gasps> this sharks flying through the air. Uh, uh. And Ian Zeering making faces like this. Yeah, fuck Ian Searing. Yeah, fuck him hard. <laughs> <laughs> and just like any other fucking Asylum movie slash sci-fi original movie, the CG is super fucking craptastic. Super craptastic. And what makes it super fucking craptastic? There's no fucking detail in any of in it. In any of it. I like when they're driving. All you see is white. There's like there's somebody holding white sheets up, you know, yeah. with a garden hose. Yeah, a garden hose spraying the fucking windshield. <laughs> somebody pushing the front bumper. Or when, like, you know, they show, like, you know, like the Sharknado. Clear sky. Sharknado! And it's raining. They have like CG rain, but the sky's all blue. Yeah, they're driving on roads that are supposedly got sharks floating around on them. But then you look over here, roads dry. No rain, no nothing. Sharknado! Nothing. Sharknado! Nothing. You know, other people driving around enjoying their life, you know, and not worrying about whether or not Ian Zeering is killing the movie industry <laughs> with his horrible acting. You know what? Speaking of horrible acting, you know who else is in this? Home Alone's fucking dad is in this. Yeah, he's in Home Alone. Dad, <laughs> Macaulay Coughlin's dad from Home Alone. No, he's Home Alone's dad. That's no, what I'm... He's homeless. <laughs> homeless dad. John Hurt or whatever the fuck his name is, yeah. or Hurt or whatever the fuck. But he plays some fucking drunk dude that's always hanging out in Zering's bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. And inside Zering's bar, there is a waitress, a random waitress, because it doesn't fucking matter. She wants Zering's nuts. Zering's like, I'm your boss. I'm your boss. Come back to work. Me? You know, yeah. I fucking hate Ian Zering. Hearing, dude, I want him to die. But all throughout the beginning <laughs> of this, you you hear some fucking crap. Fantastic fucking news reporter in the background talking about all oh, these storms, all oh, these storms. Sharks all over the place, and they are filled with sharks. <laughs> so Zering's all worried, right? So he calls his ex-wife and is like, "You and your daughter and Harry. your boyfriend need to get the fuck out of the house." Blah blah blah. They're like, "No, it's cool here." <laughs> so then what happens? A big fucking shark flies through Zering's fucking bar's window. Yeah, even though I love when they were showing like the establishing shot like they were up up high you know nothing's happening nothing but then when they come back down CGI water's breaking through sharks are everywhere and you know what's great these are the leftover foam prop heads from two headed shark attack you can tell they're just like they're yeah. not even moving they're just like yeah where's Hogan's daughter when you need her another great special effect they did in this was they would attach a foam fucking dorsal fin to a front of the fucking camera so the camera's going and there's just a fucking yeah. Yeah, dude, there's so many parts. You know, if we wanted to, we could literally rant and rave about this movie all day. I wrote down three 
fucking pages of fucking notes on this fucking of movie. Fucking horribleness. I fucking can't stand anybody in this film. It kills me. How about the fucking dude who was like, I'm from Tasmania. I couldn't understand the fucking word this dude was saying. He was just like, you know, you need to be a hey. Everything he said fucking just was like, I couldn't understand a word he was saying. Tara Reid, you can just see the partying on that bitch's face. They probably caked her face with makeup and she still shows the She signs. looks worse than Ian Ziering. Yeah, she looks older than Ian Ziering and I'm, I don't believe she is. No, I'm pretty sure she's not. <laughs> she I think she's close to our age. She had like, she kind of had like the little bit of fucking Laura Flynn Boyle like Joker lips going a little bit, you know. Oh man, one more time, stop fucking with your faces. Yeah. So Home Alone's dad fucking hits a shark with a bar stool. You know he's a drunk, so what else can he do? Bar stool, bad. And then, you know, they're, they all run out of the bar, and they're all on this boardwalk. And then a fucking big-ass Ferris wheel break loose, and they're all running from it. The ah, CG fucking ah, I love Ferris wheel. Like, again, you have random hurricane situation. Sometimes yeah. it's happening, shark, sometimes shark it's not. cane, you know, because it was at first a shark cane, then turned into Sharknado. Yeah. You know? But, like, yeah, you see, like, it rains sometimes, and then sometimes... Sometimes you don't, then you see it's cloudy, sometimes it's not, you know. I just wanted to say something about Home Alone's dad, right? I guarantee you would not th see Catherine O'Hara in Sharknado. She played Home Alone's mom. <laughs> yeah, well, she has more class. Oh, yes. She has more self-respect. She's like, no, she was an SCTV, I'm not gonna, at least. Yeah, I'm not going to go down the level of asylum. Oh, within the first 20 fucking minutes of this movie, while they're on the boardwalk, they pull a fucking smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah, they did. They put an oxygen tank in a shark's mouth, zeering two feet away from the fucking shark. Yeah. Bow. How, how, wait, how Perfect heavy fun. is a fucking tank anyway? Okay. I don't fucking know. Okay, it was, is it, okay, is it light enough that you could just pick it up like a feather and go, eh, take that, shark? Probably not. I don't know either. I wish he would get hit over the fucking head with one of these things. So Zering's bar is destroyed, blah, blah, fucking blah. Nobody cares. I love how everybody in the bar didn't care, though. There was supposed this big shark nado thing going on. Shark a cane. Shark a cane, sorry. <laughs> and everybody was uh, just chilling there, you know, having a good time, enjoying yeah. it. And then it took Ian Zering to go, everybody get out of here. Yeah, shark nado outside. You know, nobody, oh, no. I'm going to rip my face off. Oh. Oh, oh. So yes, the random waitress, the New Zealand guy, Ian Ziering, and fucking Home Alone's dad all get into their SUV and to go rescue <laughs> Tara Reed, his daughter. Yeah, they're sometimes CGI SUV. Yeah, sometimes CGI. <laughs> sometimes it is. Sometimes it's a real SUV, yeah. sometimes it's not. I love how they do the rocking car thing all the time, you know? He's not really turning the wheel or doing anything, they're just rock. With the white all around them. And the water from the garden hose hitting the windshield. And all all the stock footage from real storms. Oh. So on the way to Beverly Hills to go get Tara Reed, the daughter, and the douchiest of boyfriends ever. Yeah. The, the 405 and everything's just Tamar all Jason Lee. loaded full of fucking sharks and Ooh. whatever else and blah blah fucking blah. blah. Yeah, yeah. So they get to the fucking house. <laughs> the boyfriend's a douche to them. A fucking. They're like, we're not leaving. That's stupid. Yeah, shark they... in my pool. He goes look at a window out the window. Hey. Fucking. Hey. Well, Water and a shark comes flying through the window, and eats him. Got him. Yeah, because yeah, he got back up, and he was perfectly fine. But then they got him again. And but, it really that, did but yeah, him. but when he got him, it was like mag, 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 munching on him. Ian Ziering takes a few steps down to the thing. He's like, "I'll save you." <laughs> No, I will. Well, because that's his and fucking ex wife's boyfriend. Yeah, you say your ex wife's boyfriend? Hell no. <laughs> exactly. But then actually, when he jumped in, I don't have an ex wife, thank fucking God. But then he jumps in, grabs his legs. The dude's already all the way <laughs> in, said shark. And the shark is just chomping his way through the dude's little bit of knees he has left. And Ian's there, he's like, eh, hey, Look, what are you trying to save? His toes? He's gone! Well, he did, because the legs came off and Ian Ziering had him in his hands. Yeah, and Tara Reid was slightly upset by it. This yeah. was her boyfriend, but she was just going, eh, 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 ooh. I don't think she actually knew <laughs> when to act and when not to. Cause they I'm were just like, fucking glad we all had to deal with that douche for like 45 seconds. <laughs> I'm glad that too, but you know, I really wish they would have took out Ian Ziering. And Tara Reid. And, Tara, and, and, Tara, and the Sharknado and everything. Everything. And took out Thunder Levin for writing this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thunder. You know, I mean, whatever, but you, God, we're proud of you. You know, you yeah, got yeah. you got your Sharknado payday and your <laughs> Sharknado fame, but yeah, fuck, I, dude. I, Jesus Christ, you almost fucking killed me, dude. I was at a fucking heart attack with how bad this was. Or I was almost ready to get on a plane and go to a fucking wherever he's fucking homeless and grab your and Ziering and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> 
when they're stuck on the 405 with all the sharks and stuff, what I think is great is they'll show a shot of stock footage of a shark in the ocean, <laughs> yeah, and then they'll around. cut to blood fucking splattering on a windshield. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude, this movie kind of movies, you know damn well, they have no budget, they can't afford dick, they can't show anything, so all the establishing shots got to be up here, because if they see any other part around you... There's no Sharknado there's no going Sharknado on. There's no Sharknado at all, there's nothing going yeah. on. So you had to, unfortunately, you had to get a lot of close-up shots of Ian Ziering and Kmart Bonaduce and fucking Tara Reid Melton face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So after they leave the house, they're driving down the road and everything, and they Zeering sees a fucking school bus with kids, and he's like, I've got to save those kids yeah, from sharks. Yeah, because when they get up on the bridge, nobody else seems to care that there's a whole shark net. Nobody's stopping to help these poor kids. Nothing. Everybody's just driving by, going to work and everything. Like, hey, look, that's Ian Zeering and Tara Reid doing some on a bridge. Ah, fuck, I'm going to go to work. <laughs> but Testicles <laughs> repels down to the fucking school bus, loaded full of kids, being driven by fucking Cousin Oliver from the fucking... Fucking fucking but I like when he came down, they made sure damn well they had that camera shot of like from the bus up because if they showed anything else, it was just nothing. Yeah. But anyway, he gets on <laughs> yeah. there, they fucking heave all the kids up the rope, and then Cousin Oliver. He gets up there, yeah. And then fucking Testicles fucking goes up there and he's dodging the whole time, fucking jumping sharks that are jumping like 20 feet in the fucking air to get him. <laughs> and yes, I'm gonna keep calling him Testicles. Yeah, fuck him. I'll call him <laughs> Dick Fucker. You know, say what you want. You'll be like, you guys are stupid. You just on YouTube. You don't do nothing. You haven't reached the the climax that of Sharknado. Of Sharknado. <laughs> that Ian Ziering has come upon. You know? Well, if anybody's going to say that, fuck you and fuck Ian Ziering. Yeah, fuck both of them. So oh. an hour in, still technically no Sharknado. Not really. Still Shark a cave. Shark a cave. Shark tidal waves. But yeah. no Sharknado. But anyway, now the winds are starting to blow and the Hollywood signs coming off and they're all fucking crappily dodging CG fucking sign yeah. letters. And then Cousin Oliver gets hit by one of the letters and fucking dies. Yeah, he said, my mom, you always told me that Hollywood would... Be and then it kept hitting, like, smashing him in. Yeah. Like, I didn't know signs hit and then just kept burrowing in because it hit and was like... <laughs> yeah. I just love fucking zeering. He's just like, ooh, his acting. Steep his balls. Like, somebody's... A fucking like yardstick all the way up into his ass until it hit the top of his fucking giant carrot shaped head. Fuck you! <laughs> He's serious. I'm gonna hate you. I don't wanna see you ever again. Sci fi, you fucking blow. You got rid of Mystery Science Theater, but you put on Sharknado! So after Cousin Oliver dies, they all get back into their SUV and start driving away. And then a shark bites through their fucking roof of their car. Yeah, it just. Uh, I thought sharks needed water to say breathe and shit. I guess Are not. these like special sharks? Where they just like need blue wind. Sea sharks? Yeah, they just need CGI wind and fucking horrible ass writing from Thunder Eleven to keep going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So there are three water spouts on land now. And now they're turning into three Sharknadoes. That are on land. Let's just repeat that. Yeah. Water spouts that are on, on land. land. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there are three Sharknadoes now, but still nothing's really happening. Yeah, not really. I mean, just all kinds of story and, and fucking bad acting drama between fucking the family that is Zeering and yeah. blah, blah, fucking blah. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to say, Home Alone's dad dies. Oh, yeah, fuck him. Fuck him, yeah. yeah we don't really give a fuck. So they have to say... Save Testicles and Tara Reed's son from flight school. Yeah. So they drive wherever the fuck they're wherever going the fuck to, flight they school, to flight school to find out that Tara Reed's son is like a year younger than she is in real life. <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck is that? I mean, look, I know that Tara Reid looks haggard now, you know, and she shouldn't look haggard like that, but she does. I mean, her kid was, yeah, like a year younger, you know? And he was like a fucking douche. Lots and lots and lots of recycled shots in this movie, just like any <laughs> Asylum movie. Yeah. If we could use a shot three shark. or four times, fuck it. Less money. So the douche crew, which is Zeering, his daughter, the fucking New Zealand guy, Tara Reid, their son, and a couple other randoms, right? Yeah. They loot a fucking hardware store. Yeah. Tara Reed takes a fucking hedge clipper. Ian Zeering testicles gets a fucking chainsaw. You ain't no fucking ash, Zeering. Let's ass. get that right fucking... Yeah, you're not let's ash. Get that 
straight red fucking out. You're not Ash from Evil Dead. You're ass from Evil Asylum. Just love him. He goes to Tara Reid. He's like, no, it worked that right. And she's like, yeah, yeah, and not worked that. I'm like, you don't even, she doesn't even, the bitch don't even comprehend what you just handed her. Exactly. You can tell it in her fucking wrinkly ass leathered face. Fucking A, dude. Throughout the whole movie, Tara Reid looks like she has no fucking idea where she's at. They're just like, well, she has no. Tara, make random noises. She's like, eh, uh, eh. She has no clue of anything. Did you see her on that Shark Week thing where she was like, I thought sharks were fish, but I found out they were animals or whatever the fuck she said, fucking stupid pepperoni titted <laughs> fucking bitch <laughs> with your botched fucking boob job. I fuck. mean, now that Lohan is out, there's a room available. Can't we put this bitch back in? In rehab, you mean? Fucking A. Oh. Or just wherever. <laughs> Throw it down a volcano for all I give a fuck. So yes, while they're in this store, the son's like, we're going to bomb the tornado because bombing tornadoes stops tornadoes. Yeah, so why didn't we think of that? Why we? How comes, you know, like fucking Oklahoma and shit isn't like bombing tornadoes every day? I mean, that's how yeah. you get rid of them, according to Sharknado yeah. and Thunderly Bean. So they make bombs out of propane tanks, a smoke detector, and a flare. That is their fucking bomb. Not sure how that works, yeah. but whatever. So the son <laughs> and the random waitress get into this fucking helicopter, fly up in the air, and go to bomb the first of the three fucking Sharknadoes. Yeah, how exactly were they staying steady since fucking like douchebag son was going <laughs> you know, and know. he's looking at her going, hey, you gotta find a helicopter. <laughs> you know, that helicopter should have been like a <laughs> They fly really close to the tornado and you'd think that it would fuck up the helicopter, but it doesn't. Wait, he and Zerg was supposed to be like the fucking hero. Why did he send douchebag random bar uh, waitress and then fucking I blacked son? out, dude. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <I> don't. <laughs> I was sitting there and my brain just shut I off. Lost, I was watching I lost it. I was time. Like, all the bad. There's so much horridness, you lost time. Just like it fucking does. But anyway, they bomb the first Sharknado. It stops the fucking Sharknado. Fucking sharks fall from the sky. Fucking kill people. And then, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. oh yeah, but the one part, while it's, they're falling from the sky and killing people, Ian Ziering starts his chainsaw, gets down on one knee, he's like, Zow! and as it's fucking flying, it just cuts the shark in half. Because <laughs> that shit could happen all yeah. the time. Yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. It's a fucking Sharknado, for God's sake. So they go and they bomb the second fucking Sharknado. It fucking stops the Sharknado. Sharks fall from the fucking sky, kill people. Yeah. Wow. Clever fucking riding thunder. You thought, wow, if I can do it once, I can do it three fucking times. Yeah, very, very, very slowly. So the audience's brains just melt with inside their skulls. I love the fucking, the, the fucking random bartender bitch. You know, she was just like, eh. Uh, okay, he's like, okay, like, light it. Light it, light it. You know, and she yes. lights it, you know, and she goes, eh, 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 like this, and it just, oh. So oh, they fly yeah. off to the third shark, NATO, throw a bomb, it doesn't Which work. Which they seem to establish like six or seven times. They were like, okay, this is the third tornado. Boom. Okay, this is the third tornado. Boom. Okay, this is the third. How many times? How many third ones are there? But it does not work, so they need to throw another bomb. <laughs> Whatever the fuck happens, flying shark grabs the helicopter, random waitress bitch falls out, gets fucking swallowed by a fucking shark. And this will come into play moment fucking terror. Oh, that's right. Because the douche son crashes the helicopter very lightly. <laughs> Zeering runs out of the nursing home. Because the third Sharknado was taking place in a nursing home. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about it. So that. Zeering runs to his son and is like, I will handle this because I will take on this tornado one-on-one. -on -one. So he gets in this souped-up Hummer and fucking drives towards the Sharknado, <laughs> lights the fucking bomb or whatever the fuck he He's does. He's doing 100 miles an hour. Hits the nitrous button. Rolls out. Yeah, he lightly rolls the fuck oh. out. Boom. Boom, bang, boom, explodes, Sharknado ends. Once again, sharks fall from the fucking sky and kill people. But, Zerig saves his daughter because the shark is falling. Go ah! Oh, towards yeah. his fucking daughter. He pushes her out of the way. Has time to run yeah, yeah, yeah. his it fucking was, chainsaw. He was this close to her, but he had more than enough time to make a stupid face. And pull the fucking cord. Get the fucking thing started. Again. Push her out the way. Yeah. Jump into the air. Chainsaw first and go right into the shark's mouth. The shark hits the fucking ground. Everybody's like, oh no, Zerig's uh, dead. Uh, then all of a sudden you hear vroom, vroom, vroom. Yeah, they, they, he yeah, cuts yeah, open yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah. Shark from the inside comes out, and guess what? The waitress is in there, yeah. and she's the fuck a lot. Don't you think that chainsaw would have, like, you know, cut her? 
Or, or do you think maybe up? he could have went I, 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 and chewed her up in a little tiny bits? I need to just swallow her whole tube. But whatever, she survives and she hooks up with his fucking son. Tara Reed kisses a blood covered Zeering. Yeah, and her nose. And the daughter's by herself. Yeah. <laughs> after she kissed Zeering, dude, her nose looked just like it did after all those nights of coke, huh, Tara? Yeah, like, so, like I said, Zeering's daughter gets no love, you know? <laughs> no. Fucking waitress and douchebag son, they're getting laid. Yeah, they're getting hooked up. Fucking testicles and Tara Reed are getting laid. There's yeah. the daughter by herself, like, yeah, it didn't where's she my penis? Where's like, in the movie at one point, she was like, you care about him more than me. And he was like, no, don't. You know, so, like, they, and then now, at the very end, it just fucking proved it. He's getting laid, they're getting laid. Not her. Yeah. You know? But anyway, movie ends happily ever after. The Zeering family are the only survivors, and oh. they all love each other now. Oh. And so, guess what, Bert? <laughs> there's going to be a Sharknado 2. No, Colin, there's not. I the second it. one. <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to watch I, it. I, I'm not going to watch it. Fuck anything. you, Thunder Levin. I'm not going to watch anything ever again because I'm going home tonight and killing myself. Thank you. Thank you, Sharknado. Thank you, Thunder Levin. <laughs> So this has been We're killing me? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this has been an extra special Worst Movie Not on Netflix. I wish we just would have left this one be. <laughs> Could have saved me years of therapy. My balls are sticking extra hard on my one side of my leg. We dropped the fucking ball on this one hardcore, you know. We, we should did have it. did it way back in the day, got all those views. But we're, we're here now. This movie made me want to drink again. And speaking of Asylum, this movie was written by one of the direct... And fucking John... <laughs> I was going to say Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> yeah, fuck these Thomas Knoxville. And Skull fucked the fuck out of fucking Tara Reed's face. They'll cut... They'll show, like, a, a shot of, um... Don't show a shot of a stop. Oh, I won. I'll call him Ass Face. <laughs> say that. Fuck them and fuck Ian's ear. They're all douches. But it was like a big time douche, like, just douche. I know the fucking, you know, Zeering fucking B Donnie Bennett. <laughs> Donnie Bennett? Who the fuck is Donnie Bennett? <laughs> Nobody. Actually, I just created him. Tony Bennett, I guarantee you what I just created would act better than fucking Ian Zeering. But anyway, since you have no clue what you were talking I about. I was trying to say something, but I just, this movie's got me so fucking razzled, man. I just razzled. Ready? Fuck you. Fuck you for recording it. Fuck you for coming. And we could do Sharknado. Could, could, yeah. Because it was popular for being as bad as it was.